What makes us human? Is it our ability to remember the past and anticipate the future? Our desire to solve problems? Our advanced system of communication? Technology has replaced our need for biological adaptation, and our devices have become just as much a part of us as our own minds. Is it possible to function in the year 2017 without access to the world via smartphones? We explored the theme of smartphone dependency through talking to locals across the globe from Africa to Asia. Repeatedly, this concept was reinforced and it became clear on how much we rely on being connected. While we found that dependence on phones was a universal idea, the reasoning behind why people were so dependent varied across cultures. There was a separation between developing and developed nations. Countries in the midst of growth utilized phones as a tool, a means of communication, and an extension of their professional responsibilities. However, in industrialized countries, phones were used less as a tool, and used more as a means of entertainment, as an escape from everyday life. Yeah, I'm, I'm losing my business, I'm losing more money. And when I can get, when I use your iPhone, when I'm using iPhone, I can get a month, I maybe I can get almost two thousand five hundred dollars I can get that money, I can earn that money. But right now, I'm, I'm just love. Now I'm going to to make marketing in the net. I will be very happy with your smartphone. You'll be very happy yeah. with the smartphone. Yo. If, if, I, if I took your smartphone and took it away, would you still be happy? Oh, never. Never? Never. Never be happy. You, you need the smartphone. Yeah, I need it. Be, it it's agently to me. It, because maybe my boss will call me, Francis, I need you to do this thing for me. Yeah. So without a smartphone, there's nothing I can do in my life. You wouldn't make any money? I will never it. make money. Just leave it now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Having a smartphone more harder. because sometimes alone we can play the phone like game or the game. Uh, sometimes we miss the family, we can like messaging or just whatever. I I like to be, I actually I I happy with my smartphone. Ah. Uh. Especially I use in mobile phone, especially study. If if we use smartphones, our how to say our our knowledge increase. You you know, yeah. and our news information and social and especially worldwide news. Suddenly, there will be we. 
if you didn't have phone, right? Yes. Would you still be happy? No happy. No yes. happy. We are, yes. <laughs> no happy. No. Sometimes mobile phone is sometimes like uh how to say life uh my life partner. If if we have this mobile phone, we can we can study and anymore from this. Yeah. Yes. Some people are crazy to use mobile phone uh -huh. because of they watch movie and then they date dating and chatting. Some people are not crazy, but I think it is not good. If we want to use mobile phone, we may get our knowledge and education and some help. So it is condition. They use smartphone to uh, do lots of things now. They check in information by Baidu. In China, we have a, a similar term of uh, Google, but we call it Baidu. So we search information and we look up the dictionaries. We use all kinds of apps on the smartphones and to help us to do all kinds of things. I think now Chinese people really uh, using their phones a lot for daily stuff. I cannot pay without my phone in many places. Like we are uh, entering a cash-free society in China. A lot of things will be just using a paid by scanning uh, things by your phone. So if you take my phone away, I cannot pay a lot of things. I cannot call a taxi. I cannot uh, do a lot of things. It's all right. Not, not, not with that. Not with me. Yeah. No problem. Would you be happy if you didn't have a phone? Oh, uh, I'm uh, uh, no problem with, uh, with it. Uh, I'm happy. Uh, we even no communication. Okay. That. Why? Uh, yeah, I, I concentrate myself in the mind. Uh, that uh, not. To chat, uh, chat the from outside information to think myself. Uh, that's okay. Uh, good time yeah. to spend. Okay. That's why. Right. So the dependency on smartphones. What's interesting is the word dependency. So you think when you use that word dependency, it's usually in a negative context, like codependency or like chemical dependency or so is it a negative addiction I'm not completely sure and I think a lot of people are dependent on technology I think that's one of the conditions of our sort of current society and really globally I see a lot of dependence on smartphone and smartphone technology I spent a month filming in Nigeria several years ago and um, I saw that cell phones really Everyone had cell phones and that was the way folks connected. It was the flashlight. So at night, there isn't power all day long and people don't have light for much of the day and the evening. And so people, you know, light fires and are cooking outside. And then in order to find things, you're using your cell phone as a flashlight. So that's something I had never really thought about was that it's not just the phone the you know talking or Wi-Fi and internet but also the device was helping people in a lot of different ways I think also in places where um, you know there's there are not telephones house phones but there are satellites that bring cell phone signal and so people are able to connect in ways that they never could I think I met um, different folks in different villages and they had cell phones and they were able they had email accounts and they were able to send me emails and so I think it's it's the telephone and the communication piece but it's also the information piece that having a cell phone for many people where data is not that expensive on their SIM card that it is a way to connect with each other and with information and the world so I, I think it's changing a lot of things in a lot of places and I'm hoping that's for good so as entertainment watching a movie. You know, I, in the subway in Shanghai and in Tokyo, there was really great Wi-Fi. 
and people are watching all kinds of things on the subway. So I was sort of watching folks watching music videos and, you know, soap operas and Korean dramas and you name it, they were watching it. I'm like, we're on the subway. Like, how is this happening? But people were able to have forms of entertainment and be really connected on the subway. So I think having one device that can do all of those things is pretty transformative in terms of our lives. It wasn't something that I had growing up. I think everything good in moderation. So if all you do is live life through the screen on your cell phone, then you're missing so much. Um, but do I want to turn my cell phone off for another 100 days? No, I, I would like it. I'm excited to have it back. Can I be happy without my cell phone? Of course, because I think happiness comes from somewhere else, from inside, from who you are, from how you see the world. Um, but do I get pleasure from my cell phone? Totally. We have found that smartphones are the main instrument for connectivity globally. Whether used as a professional tool or as a means of entertainment, smartphones bridge the gap between people in an increasingly wired world. 